Ryan. What's up, Shinners? Yes, we are back. The Shindig Podcast 2.0. I don't know where I'm looking. We've got all these cameras set up now. Uh, we've done full circle. We've got Charlie Rolls back, who was the very first guest, and my trusty co-host, Mr. Steve Rogers. What's up, guys? Welcome Welcome back. Yeah. Loving this. Thanks, Matt. We're in the Shindig HQ, which is quite nice. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've finally come to uh, <laughs> to our gaff, since we've taken over yours every other week. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's Quite looking nice. very professional, the new setup. I must, I must say, I like these new yeah, mics. No one could see. Well, actually, these are, that's courtesy of, of, of Mr. Tom Hutley. Um, so thanks very much, Tom, for, for helping us out too. <laughs> Meanwhile, whilst he's touring the world with... Uh, yeah, yeah. He, 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 will, he will be back. But um, we thought it was only right as we're going to, I would say... 2.0, which we hope will be better. We'll find out when this comes out, won't we? Um, <laughs> you were our first ever guest, Charlie, at nearly... Four, nearly four years ago. Four years. Wow. Really? Four years ago. It can't be. Wow. wow. I'm, I'm sure it was 2020, yeah. October 2020. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was during the pandemic. Yeah, definitely. During the pandemic. Definitely through um, dodgy, dodgy internet As connection. As you can see, we've come such a long way. There's even a pillow now. A pillow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but by all means, everyone knows who you are and sort of what you do. Let's. Yeah, we can cover over the. Uh, we we'll skip all that. that skip stuff. all those comments and. But I think. <laughs> Everyone might know who you are, but they don't really know what bike you ride. <laughs> so should, should I think we cut straight to. I've asked everyone that's been asking me this question, and Steve, you can quite happily See, ask. Yeah. Definitely the elephant in the room. <laughs> Big bike, little bike. Something something weirds happened over the winter months. I think anyone following social media has noticed there's been lots of riders turning up on on different bikes, generally going in one direction, which is picking bigger wheel sizes mm. um, um so yeah i guess first of all how did that come about um in terms of was it just a case of boredom and looking to try something different over the winter i guess maybe yeah. we start start there really right yeah i mean the first time i jumped on the 26 was the um team trial obviously uh <laughs> andre burton's bike and then um yeah, so it was very I, I had a right blast on that. So. I mean, it does go to show that that can, bike, can bike can be ridden to a level where you get on the podium. So that's... Yeah. What a result, what a result. <laughs> oh, poor Andre. <laughs> poor Andre, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I got on it and I couldn't believe how, I don't know, like it just felt good riding over stuff. And that's what Trials is about. So to be on a bike that's actually, I don't know, designed to to really ride over yeah, over yeah. stuff the 20 seems a bit oh, i don't know the wheels the wheels are just a bit too small Essentially, I, can't, I can't lie you still don't know <laughs> is that is that the bottom line here the answer is you don't know you just love the bikes um i don't know i'm i'm half ma i've half made up my mind to be honest like it's a bit well, you bit... should give it out here now exclusively yeah. because i know you've been back and forth so we don't know the answer but hang on, so before we get too far ahead of ourselves, <laughs> so yeah, um, we had the World Championships, we had the team trial, awesome crowds there, obviously great for, for UK to get the, the, the bronze medal. Yeah. I guess after that, was it a case of, that was actually good fun, like, yeah, you wanted to do, because I guess you didn't necessarily know instantly at that point that that was something you wanted to have a go at and, and see mm. how you got on on a bigger bike. So was it was it a case? I know I think Adrian ended up providing you with a 26 yeah. to have a little play on. And we've seen a bunch of videos on the on Mind Control channel. And that's just gone from one to the next. And, yeah, yeah. and it seems as if this winter you've hardly ridden the little bike. So I guess... Pretty much. Is it just, mean, was it a case of you've, you've just tried to see what level you can get to on the... I think, bike? I think the reason I got the bike in the first place was because I wanted to do something different. I was riding all last year, putting like everything on the line to try and win. And so many competitions later, I, I hadn't won. And uh, yeah, I was, I, I, yeah, I was disappointed. Um, and I just wanted to something fresh, like something else to just get out of bed and like, oh, I want to go and ride now. And it's just a fresh, fresh thing to do. So, yeah, and then I started riding it. My level 
went up quite a lot and I was <laughs> kind of surprised but at the same time I knew I'd be better on big stuff but yeah yeah now I'm in a tricky position because I'm like well I'm better on a 26 do but I go you, back it's, it's one of those like I guess when you ever you get on a new bike and or uh, you're gonna you're gonna start off trying to get to know it a bit better and then you'll probably see a bit of progression so I guess it's it's nice from that perspective, right? That you see that progression over a short period of time. Mm. But then I guess now you're getting to the point where it's getting, I don't know, we're starting to get into pre-season. I guess people are trying to figure out, is it a case of yeah. making the switch back? Or do you feel as if, like, I guess, what what is it that you feel is the benefits of the two bikes at the moment for you? Because I guess... You could say the bigger stuff, you feel like probably more confident on a big wheel bike. Yeah. I mean, I got on the 26 and within, well, like two rides, I was going bigger. Pedal ups, hooks, gaps. I mean, side ups, not my strong points. So I was pretty standard on that. But yeah, everything else, I just, I went bigger. Was and it then, fairly instant then? Yeah. I yeah. mean, once you get used to the geometry of the bike and moving in the right way you oh, just yeah way bit <laughs> way bigger so it's difficult to then and that's probably been part of your riding in the past as well that you felt like you needed that bit of extra power yeah. sometimes right yeah that's fair to say because i'm not the strongest rider like mm. i'm not the most powerful and my technical side was always my strong point so yeah, yeah and to ride at my house on all of the the park and everything um, I couldn't find something that I was worse at. Yeah, on the twenty six, <laughs> which is yeah, that's kind of blow yeah. my mind. So, because I think I said to you, this to you at the barn as well. It was like when well, you think of a twenty inch wheel bike, like on some natural stuff, like rocks and stuff. I've always perceived that the smaller wheel tires allow you to get more grip mm. in the little nobbles and this type of thing but very you, technical yeah yeah it's like, like the more natural style it felt like 20 inches were sometimes better at it but i guess from your experience you've yeah i mean you can find more little little nobbles and stuff to hang on mm. i suppose on a 20 yeah. but i'm using the skinny wheel on the 26 which that you can find just as skinny edges i find because right. you're you're tire is actually narrower you mean you've gone and, for a, a much narrower yeah like um, front tire yeah to, for the, compared yeah. To that, and that's the the war yeah the tire, v it? tire v, v tire um, that's it yeah front so that's like <clears throat> i kind of yeah i couldn't find anything that was worse like it's, <laughs> i keep saying it and like yeah it's kind of bad really because it's just opened up my eyes to yeah how good 26 is <laughs> and then i uh, guess I guess what is maybe making the whole question in your mind harder is the fact that you can't ignore you've got Jack, who is effectively, 11, was it 11 times world champion now? Mm, so yeah. over 10 times. In terms yeah. of, I guess this is probably the biggest question, right? That you've got in the 20-inch category, you've got a ton of talented riders. It's actually always seems fairly wide open, the 20-inch category. Mm. I mean... Um, I well, don't know. Three more points as well. Same course. Yeah, I'm. I've, I don't know if that's necessary to do with the bikes or the riders, but uh, it's difficult because they're different bikes on the same obstacles. And if you know what what bike is going to ride them obstacles the best way, and for me at the minute is the twenty six. Yeah, it's designed better in my opinion <laughs> with the geometries and now stuff you realize you can roll it over things yeah you roll over and obviously you've got that speed because obviously mm. and the, sorry the speed uh, the the gearing mm. is different mm. you know yeah and especially on my bike at the minute i've got 160 cranks on a 26 which is mm. quite well sure in yeah i don't know what to... you think but is that normal because <laughs> well <laughs> it's changed I... isn't it i mean i mean we all know people try different things out, try different bars, try different mm. cranks, all trying to figure out if one maybe benefits riding versus another. I think obviously I feel like shorter cranks have come about because there have been more maybe 
rolling pedal ups that, mm. that can benefit from getting that kind of torque on yeah you get like an crank. extra bit of speed because it's, yeah. it's a it's heavier faster, gear isn't it yeah yeah so that's what but I, then at the same time when you think about clearance on obstacles clearly the shorter crank is better in mm. terms of keeping your your feet away from yeah from stuff so and that's actually something that i've played with because i went back to the 20 inch recently and yeah i i've put a 19 tooth cog on the front so that's made the gearing heavier it's all, always then, got a bmx <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> which then in turn you have to change did you change it on the back as well no i, I left it on the 12 so it's yeah it's gonna be interesting mm. yeah. <laughs> it'd be interesting i don't so, know if any do you know if anyone else uses that setup no i don't oh, well because I Bill, don't think it so. It was quite a standard, like eighteen. Yeah, eighteen twelve, 12 is normally standard. Standard. I've done eighteen yeah. thirteen before, mm. um, just completely by accident by getting to make a bike. it really easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't realise at the yeah, time. Yeah. I bought a wheel. We just had a, a cog on it, and then for a while, I did think yeah. like this is weird, and then quickly found out that there was a. We've um, got a bit of a fan club. Uh, yeah, in the back it's here. quite quite, should, it's quite we, nice. should, we should make a they are Sorry. trials, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess who they are? You know, <laughs> um, and quite timely. You've been bringing out some clips on, you know, the twenty six as everyone's been making ramp ramping and raving about. <laughs> um, but also, uh, a new video has come out. I think we could uh, touch a little bit on this. From yeah, no, the definitely. Wonderful mind control. Yes. Mm. Um, let's uh, let's get into a little bit of sort of about. It may feel like that. a little bit out of date given the, the recent <laughs> riding clips. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, we have seen you on the on the twenty inch again recently. But yeah, I guess going back, when was it filmed? The the video. Um, good question. I'm pretty sure it was in the summer. At some point, <laughs> but it was be even... wet. Typical London, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Tom, Tom would know. Tom, Tom would know. I'm sure he yeah. was dri driving you around, driving us spots. around. That's yeah, how you managed yeah. to to get. And am I right in saying it was filmed in one day? Yeah, one day. So we we got there fairly early, and then obviously Tom, the taxi driver, absolute legend. Yeah, <laughs> knows the spots. Just knows where the spots are. Parks yeah. on in the middle of the road. It's funny because <laughs> lets us out. Tom we... Tom mentioned to me that by the time he dropped you off and parked the car by the time he came over you'd already filmed like three or four clips and you were yeah. pretty much ready to move on so i was like oh okay yeah. <laughs> i think that's why he was excited to watch the video yeah. he goes i was there but guess what i missed so much of it um and was a lot of yeah. that first time uh most of it was first time and a lot of it had to be first time because we're riding on the lions into Trafalgar Square, so like <laughs> you, you can't be hanging about for too long. Yeah, I was riding really over. You've managed that to do good. that because that it's good. quite often that that's completely bar uh, barriered off. You can't yeah. even walk because people just walk super and busy, climb. or just super busy tourist so spot, isn't it? You got extremely lucky. I don't yeah. know anyone else. Please correct me if I don't know anyone else that has ridden on those lions. No. So that's got to be a world, yeah. world first, right? I think Crazy. I did try to hook the wall one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one first point. part of the line, yeah. yeah. I was very happy, I must say, that the first clip in that video, I had actually done something. <laughs> What's that on the, the telephone box? I, was, I, told, I told everyone, Charlie's just following the footsteps. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Taught him everything he knew. But um... Yeah, did you, which kind of, did you plan your route or did you, how did you sort of know where um, you were going or was it completely all left to Tom? <laughs> well, I mean, Adrian's seen quite a lot of videos in the past. So he, he kind of, in his head, already knew a few things that he wanted me to do. And then... Yeah, we just have a look, and then <laughs> tick box at, exercise at, after yeah, that, wasn't it? Yeah. At, at some point <laughs> tick, there was, tick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there was a few tourists at some like in the yeah. way at some places, and we were like, oh, "I'll just go and do it, see what see what reaction they had." And you can see in the in the video, there's a few times where the the people are like, "What? Yeah, the hell's just happened?" And really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, I actually thought adding those elements is what a lot of the you know the videos were sort of missing and you can see that crossover so a shout out to, to Martin Granger there who was the filming mm, great edit uh, an editor who mm. who used to ride trials like over a decade ago so he has a bit of of history there but yeah. it's got a real nice edge to it and a real sort of nice uh, yeah yeah and I think because he's come from like the BMX side of filming he's you know he's put a different 
perspective on a lot of the filming is it's different angles that you would normally not see so much yeah yeah, you would, yeah. yeah. it's definitely so, more it's like more artistic mm, uh, definitely to it but yeah we're already like talking about doing another one potentially with the 26 so uh, <laughs> <laughs> seems what, fair that was yeah. the first comment well actually I phoned uh, shout out to Super Rider Aaron Lucy right? we, we spoke on the phone about mm. a few hours after that and he said on the phone goes which is exactly what comedy's like right now go tell him to go back and do all of it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> but do you think there's an element of things that you can do on a 20 that you can't on that 26 in that video um I'm not sure about in that video particular because some of the stuff in that was quite, I don't know, for the camera in a way. There's not necessarily crazy hard, you know, World Cup level lines. <laughs> but <laughs> we were all like, what? What are you on about? What? Was it hard? All no. of it was hard. I mean, some of it, yeah. But um, yeah. But yeah, in, I mean, in the Trolls it... Park, there's, there's the odd thing that's you want to be on a 20. But yeah. Have you, so you haven't yeah. found a preference like, oh, yeah, 20s are better for this? Right. Like, Mm. Not there yet. Yeah, <laughs> may, maybe in a few months' time. You still sound like you're in limbo land. Yeah. yeah. Really. Which Pre I know you have been every time we've spoken like, off camera. And, Pretty much. Um, when you're even explaining to Callum, you're just like, oh, damn it. Should I, I should be going on the 26th? One question yeah. about the video. I was going to say, um, what do you think your favourite clip from that was? I mean, I've got two personal favourites, but be interested to know mm. what, what you thought. Oh, well, that came out really well or... Uh, I think I quite like the telephone box. Um, well, there was two in the actual thing, but yeah, I, it's just London, isn't it? And it's it's just iconic. So to exactly, ride yeah, on yeah. top of that for you know just ge think, general people, that's yeah, like yeah, oh wow. Yeah. It's I the get, only reason I, they kept them, I believe, was to be ridden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so people could recognise it. <laughs> You Not know, many people say they could. They've hooked a telephone box. Really. Yeah, the pedal hook. That one was. That was cool. That was hard as well because, like the the slope is mm. on the top. On the top, and they and they're slippery as well. Yeah, it wasn't so, the, the driest of days. I think that was. You see, yeah, it was pretty overcast. Right. By it. And even the skips when it was wet. Oh, like, mm. that is that's not not just thin. That's knife edge thin. It's like yeah. Ugh. yeah. <laughs> that's actually it's quite funny actually because we went to that spot earlier in the day and there. Were, there was people in the area. Construction site. Yeah, I don't, I don't. It didn't look like they were working, but they basically told us to <laughs> disappear. Oh, and um, they so, don't often work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They always catch cup of tea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we went yeah, back yeah. and shot it, but obviously it was raining then. Where we still had to. Oh, it was to unbelievable. Do it. <laughs> I think yeah, for me that clip with the hook on the container, which just something you might never yeah. seen before and that sign as a kicker was quite yeah that was nice <laughs> and actually the last the last clip i had a puncher with the where i've hooked it and like gone to go again i got a front puncher so the last like i don't know one or two clips i had to quickly pump the front tire up oh. i didn't have a tube with me or a pump um <laughs> that was like tube, so. the, the back wheel back on the skip and then kind of Doing the reverse hook yeah, the off. Reverse yeah, hook. that's that was that was one that was the last clip. You yeah, like last dropped clip down video, to yeah. that. I thought you'd done something wrong. I was like, oh, he slipped. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. what the hell? It was proper sketchy, like, but the, the, <laughs> elegantly <laughs> falling. It, it was good. It was like who was filming that? That was effectively locked in the, like, the <laughs> yeah. barrier. Oh, yeah. the must end. have been inside the camp. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the that's fencing. a point. Fencing, yeah. yeah. I was we like, had, who let him out? Because it just seemed Charlie, Charlie only had the only exit plan. Yeah. He had, yeah, he had to go crawl underneath the fence to get in there. <laughs> Martin did, and probably got a bit wet in the process. But fair play. Yeah, it was good. Originally, I was supposed to go hook like one eighty out, but because it was wet and it was not really the best hook on the top. I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I just to be fair, the way you did it, it looked really good as well. I think it was. <laughs> so it was yeah. more of like you actually had no idea what you were going to do that day. You were sort Pretty of much. really open-minded. Mm. I know that you probably, oh, oh, I've seen this before. Oh, cool. Is this yeah. what it looks like in real life? I did recognise that first um, telephone box though, it, yeah. on your, your video, but... What can we say? <laughs> <laughs> leading, leading the way, Steve. And there's one that um, a famous clip from Ali C from many years uh, ago on that that slant that you just yeah. make look ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, that was fun. It, it 
it doesn't do it any justice and people go there in real life it is sort of like completely mad mm. and you very casually rode through most of that so when i was when you said you had to make it first time i sort of understand yeah, there yeah and much like room for error there was so many lines that we filmed that just had to be done like it takes so much t- just traveling to the spot getting out riding it if i was there for too long falling off everything up you know i wouldn't have actually we wouldn't have we wouldn't have completed the video yeah, so exactly. we'd, we'd struggle wouldn't we <laughs> yeah, he's he's getting fine. Edit, pulling edit together i know i think i spend more time deleting yeah. clips of failure than i do yeah. of actually editing the video sometimes but. But i think that as well is it's so difficult with some of these videos because i think your style as well you make things look unbelievably easy sometimes in videos that i think for people outside the trials community it's it is difficult when you show them clips and you yeah, and, yeah. and i think they just think you're superhuman and that it's just that's kind of easy happens. yeah yeah just, you exactly. just do that and it right works. oh yeah oh he's got the bike that's what helps him do well, exactly it. Yeah, like, oh yeah if, well, I, if i rode my bike every day i could do that yeah, type, yeah. Type thing and just <laughs> yeah. trying to take some of the value away from it but yeah it was a an epic video and We'll be excited to see. Uh, mm. I think it's it's edit. the first of of many. I mean, Adrian's pretty keen to to get a few more out there, and if, and not necessarily just like the standard riding video. Do different different things to you know create interest in sport because yeah, and that's he, what it's about. Uh, isn't yeah, it? and he's he's going to elevate your type of riding in the scenes and settings mm. that more people can relate to. I mean, making a video in your back garden yeah. in your field is great. And it is fantastic. But this type of edit will relate to people more. Mm. It will hit home. They're, think how many millions of people have stood next to that phone box. Yeah, exactly. That's that kind of level being like, oh, you know. Yeah. So I guess we were talking about a little bit this <laughs> earlier um, in terms of presence of Jack, I guess, in the 26 mm. category. Is you, like Obviously, part of your decision making for what you want to ride this year is is going to be somewhat predicated on your ability to win competitions mm. and, and 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 obviously make podiums so is it is it is it more that that you think is driving the decision process or is it more the fact you just feel like you you can be a better rider on on one bike versus the other yeah it's interesting because yeah like I don't know. It's not for me. It's not about what riders are there. It's more what you can do with your ability, how yeah. the level you can get to. If you can ride a twenty-inch to the best of my ability, yeah. I, I believe I could win. And the same with twenty-six. You've got mm. to, you've got to be like that because when it comes to it, and you're in you're in the moment, you have to back yourself. Otherwise, yeah. you right. and of course you know, I think as well. Most people probably think. Yeah, I want to be the best rider I possibly can be. And even with these idea of like mixed categories, like in the C1s, you almost Mm. feel as if, well, if it was a C1 competition, there's no benefit to riding one bike versus the other. You have the choice. Yeah. Which one do you think you could be the better rider on? Better on, on, yeah. So so that's ultimately what is driving it. Yeah. the bottom line is which one you enjoy the most. <laughs> well, yeah. That is literally the bottom line. I get yeah. the competitions yeah. I get, and I think that's healthy. But... I think they, they're, they're hand in hand, right? You generally mm. do prefer the one that you feel better on. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but then yeah. it, it's funny because, like, going to the 26th in October, I was pretty much fed up with riding the 20. I was mm. because I, I'd ridden all season um, and put my heart and soul into riding it. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I was just a bit fed up with it. So as soon as I got on the 26 and it was new and I was riding well, I'm like, well, this mm. is good. This is brilliant. Well, I see. I guess you but, feel um, like sometimes you may plateau a little bit and then to learn yeah. maybe new techniques. Because I guess I've always thought about this, though. Like, you could ride the other bike and and maybe learn a little bit about maybe some stuff that you could potentially take back to 20. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, because it's... It's if you like you change your stem or your handlebars or your anything on your bike, you always adapt to it differently. You learn from it. Yeah. But um, or placebo. <laughs> yeah, or it's just men- a mental yeah, yeah. thing that's like you know, be like, I'll change my stem. Go, uh, Matt, you think you did, but you actually didn't. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I'm so much better. Yeah, but um, yeah, I've been been riding the twenty inch this last week. Done like four rides on it, and yeah, I've. You're still so, having fun su- on it. Surprisingly, 
because <laughs> in my head I was like oh, whatever but I give it a chance and I, I rode pretty well towards the end of the week and I was smiling you could yeah, you I know mean, you can you speak to Adrian we rode on Thursday and I was like pretty gassed to be riding it we so rode Sunday yeah. with you and you were instant you know got yeah. on the bike it was like oh this is weird, weird yeah <laughs> what the hell is this yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were like charlie this is you this is your bread <laughs> and butter man what about he's like what i can't yeah and then you i think proved to yourself yeah i mean i played around around with the setups and like yeah different bar angle stackers in the stem um like i said about the the 19 tooth cog and stuff so yeah i've feels quite nice to ride it's now diff so different um, again it's yeah it's, um yeah exciting it's new yeah yeah, yeah. it's but, actually mad to see you switch between all the different bikes i think there's yeah obviously adrian's done a great job of capturing quite a handful of different clips on mm. old school geometry and, yeah. and, and and a new school and 20 inch and the little mini kids bike <laughs> and yeah and all of that is great to see because i think it's it is amazing to see how quickly you can transition between the two, and yeah, and almost you almost ride the the twenty six like essentially in the same style as you ride your twenty inch, which is actually wild to see. Yeah, a, such a bigger bigger bike being thrown around in the same way. Yeah, but it it's like I can ride all them bikes, but to be the top top level on one bike. I've got to decide. Basically, right. I've got to decide what one, one yeah. or the other. Otherwise, I will not. It's I'll just be a, a, ja a jack, jack of all, all trades, trades. Yeah, that's master it. of none. So exactly. you also got Oliver Waitman. Mm. I managed to convince him. Big <laughs> influencer. Yeah. I don't so. think you said much. You just <laughs> handed him a bike, didn't you? I know. I didn't even hand. He just yeah. took it off me and <laughs> started riding it. And then so he, he, his his decision making <laughs> has seemed so he's decided this season to fully ride the 26th yeah, which got two. i'm a bit upset about because it might, might i was like that. you might have yeah, lost yeah. your place in the british nah. cycling team <laughs> you'll have to step up steve you might might have to yeah, put the hours in but <laughs> yeah. yeah no um i guess so he, that's the interesting thing right again similar concept great 20 inch riders got on the bigger bike but for for ollie he's clearly made a decision that quite simply yeah he he feels that this season he would maybe Again, I don't know if he just feels naturally that we'd have to have a chat with him, but um, whether he feels that he can yeah. just be a better rider yeah. on the bigger bike. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've asked him before and he wasn't sure. So <coughs> everyone message him right now and say, Ollie, oh, on the podcast. Get on, on it. <laughs> yeah, I do think, I think he was thinking about it for a while, to be honest. And then he come to the barn, got on my bike, rode it for, I don't know, like five minutes and was like oh god what <laughs> what have i done which is similar to what i sort of did um and then yeah he's got two bikes now and he's going all out for the 26 category so yeah. and it suits him he's quite big isn't he so like and he's got the power yeah so no I mean, yeah so he's see. gonna give you a run for your money well i mean i'm really I'm, i can't wait to see how he gets on because i think yeah and it's De yeah, yeah, it'll be uh, top big, rider. It'll yeah, be very exciting to watch. Oliver, 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 Oliver Whitman, Oliver Whitman, oh, Oliver. Don't the same person, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> don't start that one. Yeah, no. But this oh, is, I can't wait for that. I've got them this in the lineup. Kind of vision, and uh, like you say, if you do officially go and sort of compete twenty six, I have this vision that um, you know maybe we'll have a full British podium. Which would be a dream. It might, you know, maybe not. You know, I know that the Spanish and the French really are up there, but mm. um, it's one of those. Can you imagine? Potential. One, Potential, two, yeah. and three. Mm. You know, the you know, what order. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't, didn't want to say that, so we'll leave that to the to the listeners and watchers yeah. there to decide. I think everyone's excited. I mean, let's not um, obviously forget like how great Jack is at a comp in terms of a competitor and how formidable he's been. I think that is the fear for a lot of 26 inch riders that for them to beat Jack is almost like mm. the pinnacle of trials. I think even out of the 20 inch riders, we've had like Eloy on the podcast and I think he's he's relished at the chance to compete against Jack in sort of C1 competitions, which yeah. I know Jack hasn't generally often competed at, but it would be... It would be really interesting again, just there to be a new challenger in the twenty-six mm. inch category because I think, I mean, you've had the likes of Nico Valley that like almost his career was quashed a little bit by the fact that Jack was always in that top spot. Yeah, it was that extra one percent that yeah that 
yeah, won and it. even for the Spanish team, I mean, you've got Danny Baron, who's been formidable, uh, but yeah. has been kind of become the new consistently second place rider in the twenty six inch category. Yeah. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see the mix. To see who will finish behind Jack. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to that point, has, the Max Verstappen of, of trials. trials. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, which is like one of the things that I was thinking about the other day, and. Um, uh, Pete, thanks for your question as well. He sort of brought it up. The twenty sixes now are incredibly short, shorter than they've ever been. Am I? I'm not. Is is that right? Well, Steve? yeah, I think you would say traditionally, smaller riders know. generally end up on the smaller bikes. Taller riders generally up on, on the bigger bikes. Mm. But yeah, you. But have... now the taller riders are getting the twenty six with this super short wheelbase. Yeah. And I, again, I might be stepping on the twenty six toes here, but it feels mm. like they are incredibly, incredibly mm. short. Can they get think... any shorter? <laughs> to be honest, I, I I can't really comment on it because I have no <laughs> experience no, right. in twenty six inch bikes. But I know that I'm on a small, and probably if I was on a large, I wouldn't be able to ride right, the, the level because sort I, of what I, what I meant by yeah, that is you know, you, 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 I'm not level... the tallest person, so to have a smaller bike, yeah, it works for me. And I don't know, Jack's tall and he's on the small as well, so I guess. Maybe the, maybe the small yeah. bike fit, fits the obstacles better. Like, yeah. That's no, I don't think there's any hard, fast formula. I think mm. I think the style of riding's changed, which has maybe yeah, in the last five more years, smaller riders that have got the agility and and the speed to get through sections, and yeah. I feel like that has become. And there's not so many, you know, stupidly big hooks, hook, right. hookups, or like big gaps that are in the comps generally. To right. that, like you know these days so it why do you have a big one, why would it? you have a longer bike yeah. you know well that's the, all of the new ones that have come out uh say this year that everyone everything's gone shorter yeah you know e and even the short crew because it's gone shorter yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? but you can you can always get the short bike and put a longer stem on it and your your body position can change but the actual wheels yeah. fit the obstacles yeah. better you would generally say opinion. a longer bike was better for gaps like you say uh, right should probably ask owen about it because he's more <laughs> he, he goes back and forth for uh you know is my medium is it long we're talking about his frame by the way just yeah. to be sure um but i know that you prefer a short owen too so it's mm. just I've, I've seen this trend recently yeah. of everyone wanting these super short it will change again <laughs> bikes. Yeah. well you know what's yeah, what do you think we'll the see. future of that truly is i mean you look at like sergi he's they're building custom frames for the person's posture or style however it is maybe would that be the future of mm. these frames could be I don't know. Would I'm a, I'm a have, 20 inch rider, so well, I. Could, if, I'd... What I'm getting to at. What, what, what I'm <laughs> is he just dropped? Two. Is he just dropped the bombshell there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm getting to in this, but the point was like, if you, um, this was something that sort of Luke reached out to as well. Thanks, Luke. If you were able to have your perfect geo bike, whether that 26 or 20, what mm. what would that look like? I don't know because I need to try. A lot of other geos especially on the 20 inch i'd like to try i mean christian's pretty keen to try some uh different geos you know you can try it you can try all sorts. experimental with yeah it you've got bottom bracket to play with head angle you know wheelbase more There's... modular frames don't we where you yeah. just turn a screw and you change a bb exactly. by a couple just of mil suddenly like adjustments yeah. like this and well like the clean carbons you know you just yeah. move a spacer and it affects it you know maybe they're there's room for something. I mean, there's a lot of you engineering need a, involved. need a, a 20 inch to expand into a 26 and then <laughs> everyone's problems will go away. It's I mean. just like a button. It's a <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like your, your, your yeah. gear change, but just, just yeah, like, transforms. Yeah. Wheels get tra bigger. Even the yeah. transformer sound. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, wow, it's 26 now. Yeah. Very cool. But, um, so we haven't, I just wanted to still get, are you officially going to compete 26 this year? Uh, you said you made your mind up, didn't you? No, yeah, no, no. he still hasn't. <laughs> honestly, I know. honestly, well, so why, I mean, I, I said to this to you before as well, right? Why not just try like uh, a C one or something mm. to that effect on the big bike? Yeah, if you're un unclear and see how you get on. But but then the trouble is though, I'm quite clear that the twenty six, mm. my level is higher yeah. on the twenty six. I'm quite clear about that, but. Uh, so shame it's you can't do both. One. You used to be able to compete in both. Yeah, I mean, you? if you could, yeah. if you can compete in both, I think it would be 
seriously hard. So even if you could, for the riders that chose to do it, it's still a disadvantage to oh, do yeah. both, you know. So you, yeah. I don't know, it would be interesting. But yeah, there's a C1 in Cartagena in a couple of weeks' time. So, pla- well, I've not booked anything yet, but I'm planning to go there and ride. Mm, I think that'd be I think that'd be an interesting idea, at least just to because you obviously know you can compete on the on the twenty inch. Like, mm. I mean, you were winning sort of quarterfinals, semifinals last year. It was just unfortunately for you sometimes mm. didn't all come together. I think right it was time. like eight out of ten times. Yeah, <laughs> I won the semifinal <laughs> and could, couldn't convert. Not that we're counting or anything. No, not yeah. counting. I'm not. Not but upset yeah. about it or anything, but you know. Yeah. Um, Are you less likely but, to miss a gate on the twenty six too? Yeah. Is that so? <laughs> it's got a bigger, a bigger, bigger, bigger logo, bigger, on the bigger top tube. More, more to write on there. Please yeah. don't miss the gate. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. True. But no, I don't know. It's all fun. Hmm. It's all fun because even if you know, uh, for me, well, you never committed, are you? You couldn't no, change, change I mean, any time in the season. And luckily, my sponsors are pretty. Um, you know, flexible. Ha- yeah, flexible. They're happy to for me to just ride with their brands. So even if it's a twenty six or a twenty inch, it doesn't matter to them. Um, yeah. which is which is quite nice. And yeah, maybe this year I'll do twenty or twenty six. But so basically, you have to um, take both bikes now to all of your events. Yeah, just choose a bigger bike <laughs> bag. Choose on the day or something. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. but he's always got two for each, so he's going to have to take four. Right? <laughs> My God. <laughs> Well, I don't just make it's... sure most of the competitions are near the Krukers factory. Yeah, yeah, pick yeah. another one up. Because um, I will tell some of the the US guys who wanted to hear. I know it's ninety percent certain that you're hopefully going to be at Bentonville. Yeah, this year. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I've I've kind of missed out on the on the previous years to go there, so I'm quite. Yeah, keen to go there yeah, and see everybody. We're, Looks I like mean, a great I'll, event. I'll be there, the Shindy crew. Andre's coming with me too. Uh, we'll drag Callum along. He'll fit in the bike bag somewhere anyway, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we'll be coming as a, a bit of a crew. And I'm, what, that's what I'm wondering. Are you are going to take both bikes? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> what, it's got time to decide. What yeah. do the... What, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to look at the live streams and see what the sections are like. And then uh, decide at the time. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> what, what other events are you thinking of planning to go this year? I mean, um, presumably World Cups and, and the World Champs are guaranteed. Yeah, the World, guaranteed. World Cups, World Champs are guaranteed. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy World Cups, to be fair, because it's, I don't know, you, it's a series, isn't it? You go to different places mm. in, in the world, so it's nice. And then, obviously, Abu Dhabi, basically at Christmas. Christmas time, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a tough one, isn't it, really? What do you think about those changes? So when is the Grand changes? Prix in? Because I was trying to figure this out. The Grand Prix is in December. It's just in, before. Right. I think that's why they might have changed it. Right, okay. Um, I might be wrong. Uh, again, so someone correct me. The Sikhs are over watching Max Verstappen and then come watch the Max Verstappen. Yeah, just listen to the... <laughs> <laughs> listen to the... <laughs> that would be brilliant. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just... Yeah, looking forward to a few events this year. And um, be good. the Academy seems to be going really well. We've got repping out some yeah. new merchandise here as well today. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, new team tops as well. New yeah. jerseys, which yeah, we do. really cool. Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, for the kids especially, like, to see them all, you know, wearing the same thing, it feels like you're in a team, doesn't it? And It's, it's, it's like it's, official. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's nice. It's not... <laughs> yeah, no, and and mean, the quality of the... the the tops are really, really good. So, yeah, we're quite happy to do. Yeah, it certainly triggered up. us to get our um, act, together. act together, or yeah, also some me. <laughs> Shindig jerseys. <laughs> um, but they've they've gone really well. And you're um, some people that don't know. You're also coaching on that as well, aren't you? Yeah. So people can. Yeah, and um, Patreon. I'm I'm putting out videos all the time. Um, you know, like how to videos, tutorials, as well as. Yeah, riding videos all the time. So what people people yeah. want because uh, yeah. Luke asked here. Thanks, Luke, for another question. He's like, "Will you ever be doing one-on-one coaching?" Yeah, I mean, we're, we're yet to organise that with Luke because he's uh, obviously <laughs> twisted his foot. I don't know <laughs> how we manage that, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm up to I'm up for it. Um, I'm obviously quite busy, but yeah. Which let me know. leads on to some of the people that don't know. Um, well, you asked a great question earlier, Steve, off off cam that you wanted to ask. <laughs> <again>. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly, you yeah. <laughs> so we were saying, yeah, obviously we see posts of you driving the tractor, and mm. obviously is, is a, working on a farm. You're obviously um, you're very busy with that, and I know the family rely on you a lot to uh, mm. keep things running. Yeah, and yeah. 
um, I think we were mentioning just the other week as well. It's like very rare that anyone can leave, like the whole family can leave the farm. There's always mm. someone on site. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we were saying, so when you're driving the tractor, what are you thinking about? Is it <laughs> is it a case of 20 inch versus 26 or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty much. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Can't 10, hours, 10 hours. 10 hours. <sighs> God, yeah. what am I gonna do? Yeah, it's, a, oh, it's quite nice sometimes being in the tractor though because you're you're forcing yourself to to do something. Basically, you you can't just sit about and you know you're actually doing something. And when when I come back from Glasgow, I was obviously third, but in my head I'm like, oh shit, could have <laughs> like I, what could have been, you know? And I I drove drove back from Glasgow straight in the tractor, and I was I was in it until six in the morning the next day, and you can imagine what that's I was thinking about. <laughs> like, it's a lot of time to be in your own head. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Like, yeah. there's no one really to talk yeah. to. Maybe you've got the radio say, on. Someone, yeah, you can imagine it being therapeutic in a way, but at the same time, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're <laughs> concentrating on the job. At the but we hope. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry. Yes, yes, Dave. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Keep crashing into everything. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? Where's that hedgerow gone? Yeah, <laughs> it's been mowed down, flattened by me in a tractor. Yeah. But yeah, it's you know. I like I like doing the farm work. Um, sometimes it's a bit much because it's long hours and oh, long, yeah, yeah, long hours. Yeah, and what the, is the hardest it, part about working on the farm? For you? Uh, what is the hardest part? I mean, in the winter it's pretty horrible because you're in the in the wet and the the misery of the muddy <laughs> muddy yard and the yeah. Um, because I think people just think that you sleep and then get up and ride your bike, but mm. it's probably you spend very probably half the time that people imagine you on mm. on your bike, right? And you most of it, yeah, especially in the summer because it's obviously harvest and we're we're out every day. And if the sun's shining, you've got to, you've got to get it done. So, and we, you know, obviously flat out, and my dad's flat out, uh, my brother's flat out. We've got a few harvest workers as well that mm. all you know. You can't just, oh, you know. So I feel I feel really yeah. guilty yeah. when I when I'm like I need to like stop and ride my bike or train or sleep. Yeah, and and everyone else is you know busting a nut to do it, and I'm like, mm, yeah, but <laughs> I've got a World Cup next I week. I guess does that make but, you feel um, as if you're at somewhat a disadvantage to some other riders that do ride full time that have no other work commitments? Maybe you could look at it, look at it like that, or. You could look at it like you're going through all of that, and you you can you you know it's making you harder. You're you're more tough. You you've you got to do all that and then ride. Mm. If you've got the mindset of you know get through it, do it, get on with it. You you know I think it can make you a better rider. It's quite a lot of discipline but, um, involved with that. Then yeah, regardless yeah. of how tired you are, you're saying yeah. like, oh, I actually have to ride. Like even if you aren't feeling it, just like mm. anyone. This is when you're... But it's so easy to just slip into the mindset of like, oh, you know, if if this, if that, I, you know, it's it's difficult, isn't it? But you just got to get on with it and yeah. and push through with what you have got. I mean, I've I've got such a good training facility. Living on the farm allows me to have a barn to ride in in the winter. I've got the We're land. We're very to ride. thankful. <laughs> yes, we should. And every, on, on yeah, and everyone gets everyone that's ever ridden there. Thank yeah. you. So yeah. Much. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, we've got Callum in the back, and I think he's ultimately lived there for yeah. the last. Yeah, there, there's, there's, there's a bed in the corner, which is just a. He's been in the chicken. He's been in the chicken shed the whole, the whole winter. <laughs> I thought I thought that peacock was quite happy when yeah. I saw it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's, it's um, it's part of it. Like you, I live on a farm. You have to get on and do the work, but you get such a good Benefits place, place to live well. and yeah. tra like train from. And yeah, obviously so the the great big boys' toys to build your trials park. <laughs> yeah, you know half the time when I watch your videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's just lifting his sleeper. That if he drops, he will kill himself. <laughs> yeah, he's just out there swinging it round. Well, I, rem I remember the days of riding at Rad, and we we get the same obstacles, and it would be so so long until the next opportunity to get the digger in the field and actually move stuff. Whereas uh, 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 bike trial academy is like almost like every time we visit something's changed yeah and... yeah that is one thing i regularly and even dre gets confused he's yeah like, oh it's changed i'm like yeah he's got <laughs> it's he's constantly got... Re re <laughs> it's not really very good at times as well because you kind of want to measure yourself on what was there before but yeah. sometimes we've been forced to move stuff because it's like 
in the way of the yeah. yard or like we're putting a drain in or something. So we've cleared the uh, field and, yeah. and and especially like a few years ago when we were doing the British rounds, we'd have to build sections for it because it wasn't quite set out right. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm always moving it and I, I try and tell myself to steady on like leave stuff that's bit, that people write because you know what people ride come in and he needs a curb high <laughs> like yeah. side off yeah. constantly chasing the dragon walk. now I like, hit my peak again in 2020 and all of a sudden like oh god yeah, yeah. back on the bike again like Matt when you back on it last week <laughs> we need to move this like flat stack of pallets into the field so you, you don't yeah. really want to measure like your level though are you I know a lot of riders out there they're like yes right I've done 145 today all this you know mm. uh, it, it doesn't mm. seem a very popular thing for us maybe kill our dreams or it did used to be in the street street yeah. days but yeah in the but so you how do you measure your progression um I feel like it's sometimes or well, a lot of the time it's feeling and if you feel like you're you're riding well because you could be doing you know like rubbish things but you f you feel good that's better than feels easy yeah like yeah. yeah um but yeah i don't often get a tape measure out sometimes it's interesting but then it can lead you to disappointment because like oh well you know that's not that big or <laughs> yeah set, uh, set your uh, expectation uh, nice and low like that's yeah, yeah. got to be a 20 inch side up and yeah. especially you tell Joachim to stop measuring his yeah I mean he <laughs> <laughs> he's so powerful that like it's, I was like, it's I insane I we but... need it measured we can see yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, what was he he was doing like a 3.2 metre gap on the inspired yeah. yeah. like, oh, ridiculous. <laughs> and I just had to flip it being like he means he's eating 300 pancakes yeah. <laughs> that's insane but um <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that powerful when it comes to the pa like compared to top top riders. I'm not the powerful rider, so if I start measuring stuff, I'm just going to be disappointed in my mm. level. But I'm all about the tech, and that's why I say if you feel good, and I'm I'm doing all the techy balancey stuff, and mm. I feel good, I'm going to be able to do it, and that's how I measure my. Because I think you, I think you get to a level at some point where it is basically just your head that you fight with, mm. you know. Yeah, great. You can reach this level. So what I meant by measuring, you go, oh yeah, I didn't want to. It's like, well, you did that that one day. Like, can you do it again? And that's yeah. when the competitions come in. The consistency, keeping your progress. That's true. Upright, yeah. and it's like, oh, I do feel good, but it's like mm. I sometimes feel good and can't do anything. So yeah, it is. I mean, you do. So like the other day, for instance, I was trying this sort of gap bounce to front thing, and I I tried it a few times, and then I did get it. And then I rode straight back round and went to do it again and got it. And then rode back straight round and did it again. And I did it, you know, three times in a row. And then I'm like, well, yeah, I've just done that. I've just, my level's gone up. I've just achieved yeah, yeah. something that I was trying and wasn't quite That's That's there. interesting to hear that because I think a lot of people ride. And if we get something, we get it once, we're really happy about it. Yeah. Yeah, there's you not, don't want to go again, do no, you? No, no, no. You're like, I've just put everything <laughs> into that. Yeah. To but that's what's good about it because yeah. you, you've you you've done it so you can do it. Yeah. So just go and do it again. Do the oh, same I thing. I think we all know that in our heads that, oh, I've done it once. I now need to do it again and make mm. sure I've got it yeah. like on lock. But... <laughs> yeah, know, but, but it's the thought. Like, so much on the limit. I'm like, I won't have a chain stay left after today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know it's hard to... to I think that's Put the competitive it into practice, mi but... mindset, isn't it? That yeah. You, you do need to... And then in like, when I go riding again on the in the same area, I'll, you know, in a week's time or whatever, I'll go and do a line mm. first and then I'll, I'll have that as the last gate in the line. So I have to do it. Yeah. And then if I've done it in, you know, in a scenario like that, then I've definitely conquered it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's true. Which is, yeah. That's a good, and great way of training. It's I think. really like satisfying for any, as well when you... for any younger yeah. riders that are thinking about how to improve their mm. level. I think that's a great way to push forward because yeah. I think yeah, you, you you get something once. If you if you feel like you can just continuously get that, then yeah. your confidence is going to be yeah. much higher than if it was right. one out of ten. You know, and all you yeah, want to going to do it. is go more than that. If like, well, I'm getting that every time, mm. yeah. which suddenly means we need to go more you need we need to be doing something that i can't get every time yeah which is doesn't ha often happen in a lot of sports you know um that's why i think it, it's not easier but it's common for trials riders to ride above their level mm. or like be pushing and mm. going there and i don't think you've quite hit that enough charlie 
You aren't failing enough. <laughs> uh, can I say that? I don't. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> See some of these competitions <laughs> last year, mate. I was cr- oh, oh, yeah, crashing yeah, so, and all yeah. over the when place. When the pressure's on, yeah, yeah. he's like, um, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll you could, could have gone over the bars on like. Yeah, it's little a, silly little like. bits of wood <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you know V Borg over the bars. Yeah, and, you know, all these these <laughs> ones that those. stay with you. <laughs> but yeah, you can't worry about that. I yes. think that's what I'm going to say next it's time he gets bus. into a competition. He's going to take his leg off the bike and hit the bat wheel. Yeah. <laughs> what Something the hell? Like it that, grew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll find out your turning circle is much bigger on the big bike. Or, <laughs> yeah, won't be able to fit in such a small gap. So yeah. how can um, how can anyone find find you on the socials? Find this video. Um, Obviously, the video's on uh, YouTube. Um, it's on Mind Control's channel, so it's the first video on there. Um, so go check it out, get some traffic to it. Yeah, make sure <laughs> to subscribe because there will be, like you've said... Yeah, there's going to be um, more coming. A so. lot more. Yeah, and with like Samuel Laverty in the on the team as well, like probably see a few videos of him coming well, up. Will there be a, a, a the duo world. video, maybe? Possibly. It's an idea. <laughs> Put that to Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and no, I'm just Instagram's my main main thing really. Just and uh, they can get in touch with Bike Trial Academy. Bike Trial Academy coaching available and stuff. Yeah, come ride my got the Patreon my, page. Yeah, I know it's Patreon. A lot, I know there's a lot as well for some of the kids. But th- will, will there be any like potential coaching for some of us adults? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's something I need to talk to my mum about because you know. It's, Shout out to S- Kelly Rolls, by the way. It's behind the scenes, behind every great man. It's an even greater woman. <laughs> the, uh, the Bike Trial Academy UK yeah. boss is yeah. what we call her. <laughs> but yeah, the CEO. It's just um, yeah, fitting fitting in a, a date with yeah. But it's something to to plan. I need. I mean, I've not really thought about it too much because I'm always so busy. But yeah, if there's demand for it, people want it, then I'm sure we can come up with some sort of training day or training camp. It'd be cool. Yeah, I think we'd like to mm. to see that and get some uh, more official sure and some from from Luke saying he wants some one on one. I'm sure a lot mm. of people will do that. And you, if you haven't gone onto his Patreon, make sure you head over there. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so many different tutorials on there, and like just seeing how I see it, if you know what I mean, the different techniques and yeah, how I visualise doing them. And yeah, there's plenty on there. Go check it yeah. out. <laughs> I only had one other question. I don't know if you've got a final one after two. I think we're doing it pretty uh, 26 good. 26 or 20. On time. <laughs> <laughs> How did yeah. you know? <laughs> um, I've just lost 20. my trend. Oh, who 26. do you think is going to be the most up and coming rider this year? Oh, gosh. That's tricky. A lot of juniors, aren't there, that, mm. that are coming through? Yeah, there's, there's a it's lot of juniors. It's just a little juniors. prediction I'd like to see how some, some people might say. I think that... It's, someone did ask this question I can't remember where it is I'm sorry mm, I can't think of any in particular but I know there's just there's a lot of good juniors coming from S- Spain especially France we've got some brilliant juniors coming through so so no yeah, one no good. one you want to pin down and just be like <laughs> ah <laughs> Tell Eddie Wakeman to get on with it. Yeah, <laughs> pull, here we go. Pull his finger out. Come on, boy. You got this. Come on, Eddie, mate. Yeah, I think 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 you're I think you're ready. But, but honestly, we got we got some great academy riders as well that are leveling up each time I see them. So as they grow, they get better. And yeah, I think it's exciting. exciting. It is exciting because yeah. it's, it's development of you know riders. Like we're, I'd say we're slowing down. But um, well, yeah, the the level the, the slows down right. is it in, in, mm. in very very slowly in progression. But you're like look at mm. some of the the riders that within two weeks you're like whoa new moves. So yeah, and it's proper like for me it's quite motivating because it's you know they're looking at things in a different way and they're learning and they want to get better. And that's obviously what I want. So it's you're part it, of that journey, aren't you? So. Yeah, it's nice to you know I get inspired by them as much as they might be inspired by yeah, me. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's good. good. Yeah, nice, Steve. You got any final no, questions? I was just there? Say, no. thanks, thanks again for coming down. Yeah, and I'm glad you got to Shindig HQ. Yeah, it's yeah. nice yeah. day in person. We'll um, we'll know how this goes when I check <laughs> on all the files here and how this new. Setup's. Hopefully, you press record because uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we, we'll have to I reset. I did hear one camera turn off, but I've got these backups going on here. So <laughs> just to let everyone know, it's March 2024. You should expect this video in about 12 months' time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm is not sure right? I can get to that. There is AI <laughs> that helps ed- 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 editing, but um, yeah, I, th- I think we'll uh, 
will be when Tom gets back, you can just leave him in yeah, the room. Well, room. Like Set to, him on it. To do this, we like to think that we'll be doing full circle, getting all of our yeah. old guests back in an ideal world face to face so mm, I can smell them um, I reek you know. we've been riding my helmet stinks yeah. and, we should, and we should definitely ask the community again if there's anyone new that they want to hear from please We're, yeah there um, will be some uh, there, there's some new things coming out I will be bringing out a video to do some explanations of some new features that will be coming there'll be some members stuff members only stuff so I'm about two months behind on the plans but you know you know, it's better to do it my way than to do it their way and do nothing at all. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice to see that you've you've got things coming up. Though it's good. It's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is the, for, for the shindig itself. Yeah, mm. we've got you know there's a couple of events. So I'll be in Norway. There's uh, Bentonville. Bentonville, yeah. Um, potential with Abu Dhabi. Everything's still up in the air. And uh, any other riders that want us at their event, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, let us know. So, mate, Charlie, thank you so much again. For, so for coming on and being a, another test dummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <a> pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> he was there with our very first, and maybe this, who knows, this could be our very last if it went that bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope not, because that's not. No, no, not no, good. I don't think so. Yeah. So, um, uh, thank you so much, listeners, of course. Um, uh, please, uh, any uh, any comments that you want to ask and get other, other people on the show, let us know. I've been uh, Matt Pengelly. I've been Captain Crash. My name's Charlie Rose. And uh, thanks for listening to the Shindy Podcast. Bye bye. Bye. 20 inch or Marsh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't answer it. <laughs> yeah, I so you might just believe that in the end. Like. Ah, you f-